doing his job and we are waiting for the last player that finally joined again now I won't read a read the chat along so I'm sorry if I don't answer directly to your questions in the chat we are live with the pissed round of the third map here playing ducks taking on heroin in the playoffs of the SLTV amateur series they are battling it out for five hundred dollars I think and obviously the prestige of winning and going to the final crispy starts off with a mid push together with his teammates but they end up in a 3v3 situation, Oil and Junai almost on same HP, so everything back to equal. Everything back to scratch. And it really looks like they were started as a 3v3. If you look at the CT's position and the terrorists working their way into short, now they need to face, but oh, Junai goes down to zone, a bad position for him to actually be there. As he was low on HP, he should have... Uh, gotten himself in a position where only his head showed up. Kirby goes down as well. Uh, uh, the other one goes down as well, and now it's only Kirby against three players. Mystic and Oilard low on HP, but the Terrors are all over the place. Kirby only gets himself one more frag until Zona takes him out. And Heroin finally win a pistol round, make it 1 to 0. Terrors start off on the easier side and with the pistol in their bags. Laying Ducks looked at a very hard half. Initial spray through the double doors in the middle doesn't reward the terrorists with anything except wasted bullets. And if you ask me as a net as an economy activist. Wasting bullets never good for you. KZ and Junai wasting bullets on the heads of the terrorists. Whoopi comes in with one of, of his picked up Galil. And suddenly this goes south for the terrorists. Whoopi and Kirby in a 2v1 situation. Mystique though recovers with a second of the round. Kirby now not in the mix of all the action. So he didn't pick up a weapon. But he got a 5-7. And that is definitely a dangerous pistol to have. While Mystique is walking towards the A bomb site, Kirby is still checking out middle. Mystique now made it to the bomb site. He will plant shortly, and he's still got plenty of nades. So Kirby will have a hard time retaking that bomb site. Let's see what he chooses to do. He just runs straight forward, goes into. The CT spawn now flashes his way in. Mystique needs to turn away a little bit and couldn't hear him anymore, but he knows where he's coming from. Galil work onto Kirby, but Mystique botches it in the end. Kirby with 6 HP gets a frag, and the defuse should go through as well. Kirby standing tall, and the CT is doing a great job of getting the second round of the half. And actually force Heron to save right now. And a great start into the map already. Trading blows at the first two rounds. What could you expect by those two teams? They are really not giving their opponent anything at all. Now Heron with a three-man B tunnels set up. Casey already put down oil in middle and they are rushing out of B tunnels. Crispy and Casey are there though. They close the double doors and everybody runs in there, falls down, goes down and Sona, the last man standing on a long, no problem for Whoopi at all. And the CTs don't lose a single player in the second echo or in the in the third round. Let's call it the third round. It, you can't really say it was an Echo Bash as the CTs had three Famasas and a Galil and not that many uh, grenades as well. So they make it 2 to 1 and now Heroin bought up with a case and only one flash and one smoke in the hands of Sona. Let's see where he's at. He's in a long. While the rest of his team is working on middle, 
you should ex you kind of expect that setup on the terrorist side and that's the usual thing that we see and the go tv lags a little bit well we're back so it's just a small hiccup what is fast doing He's not lagging out, at least his ping is okay. But the terrorists still make their way onto short, and Draker gets a frag onto Crispy in middle, makes it a 5v4. And now it's all to take point. Zona with a flash in to CT spawn. And there they go, Whoopi already down to 40 HP. He needs to retreat and stay alive at all costs to have the chance taking the A bombsite while Kirby is still waiting for a B push. Now he gets a rotation going together with his teammate of Casey. They will come from short probably. While the terrorists are capturing short again with two players and want to reinforce it while Mystique stays at the bomb site. Fast is still AFK in middle. Or maybe it was strategy to have him put over there. While Casey and company put the terrorists down on the A bomb side and they don't know that Fast is still standing in middle so they are still looking for him. They are even fake defusing. But well Junai was probably not fake defusing but just letting Whoopi take over, uh, Kirby take over with his defuse kit. And what a retake by the CTs. All of a sudden everybody got his frag playing Ducks with the 3-2-1 scoreline and Fast actually now dropped from the server so... He saved his AK and then <laughs> he he lost connection. What did he lose connection before? I think he lost connection before. But he rejoined without even asking for the money or anything. So you might call it fair play by fast to not even say anything about it. His teammates don't do anything about it either. But now he decides to just jump into Crispy. Crispy gets a frag, but then has problems against all with the P250. All gets him killed. Whoopi with a refrag, and Draker with a re refrag onto Whoopi. And Junai on a long takes out Zoner. Kirby. Okay, finally gets a headshot on then Draker. Now it's a 3v1 situation. Mystique down to low HP already, and Junai gets a frag. Playing Ducks take point. While I was thinking they will have a hard time in the first half, they are now recovering. And. While I was thinking that playing Ducks have a real hard time in the first half, they actually turn it around and make me look really stupid. To be honest. <laughs> 4-1 Heron with a full buy. Finally they have nades in their lineup and they want to use it to the fullest potential but Whoopi with a gap shot onto fast makes it a 5v4 and those nades are wasted now but the mid push still happens. Crispy anti flashes forces the terrorists to fall back a little bit now peeks out and flashes again. Kirby with the incendiary nade almost flames himself but still Gets a lot of damage dealt onto Mystique who finally takes him out in the end. 3v3 situation, two terrorists down to low HP. Mystique on 21, Zona on 42. KZ, Whoopi and Junai retaking the B-bomb site. Zona is trying to hold the B-tunnels. Now he knows that there's somebody coming. Junai shouldn't have thrown that flash even though you want to throw the flash to have your opponent blinded. But the terrorists are holding strong. Everybody is chiming in. And in the end, they come out on top, Heroin make it 4-2-2. And the retake by playing Dux was very unlucky, to say the least. If Junai gets a frag onto Zona in uh, B-Tunnels, he's out of the game and he got an additional frag. So, um, that would have turned it round, around. But like that, Heroin get themselves the chance of coming back. They already have allowed... Uh, the CTs to gain four rounds and with only seven being or six being played at the moment there's a lot of room for the CTs to get an additional two or maybe even three rounds in and the 9-6 scoreline will be 
hard for Heron to achieve. The two men stack in middle by the CTs and two terrorists pushing in. A smoke of CT spawn. They pushing in as well. Crispy with a back onto Mystique, but Whoopi takes a flash uh, of of Crispy. That flash that Crispy have has flown, and Whoopi gets himself a frag, but he gets refragged in turn as well. And the terrorists have finally captured the B bomb site with four players there defending it. Junai and KZ just want to stay away and save the weapons for now. Heroin closing the gap again and the two teams just keep trading rounds and blows. And at least one exit frag in favor of the CTs, but now the terrorists know where the CTs are at. They are storming in and trying to get the frag. KZ gets a refrag after fast, took out Whoopi. Uh, Junai, sorry for mixing up the players, and Heron still get out on top of the round, obviously. And now buying up in the CTs with a force buy. Crispy with a FAMAS. Whoopi doesn't have a weapon at all. No one was able to drop for him, so the CTs grabbed their the bottom of their pockets to pull out something special. But they are going for the standard setup, so they are very confident at the moment in their setup. While the terrorists are playing standard as well. They're working in middle and short, one secures long, but actually oily. Uh, oil is in a bad position. Okay, he smoked off, so he can't do anything to help his teammates while they're pushing into the A bomb site. They've got to work against Casey. Casey goes down, and Draker takes him out. Oil with a second frag on long takes out Junai and Whoopi. Great stuff by Oil to open up a long like that. Now fast takes out Crispy, who was only able to get a frag onto Andraker, and suddenly heroin with the equalizing round makes it four to four again. And whenever it matters, they turn it up a little bit and get those important rounds into their favor. Playing Ducks now need to save. And the Belarusian squad of Heroin should be able to take the lead. Now at B gets one frag with one uh, gets two frags with one bullet into two heads. Crispy and Kirby go down on the B-Tunnels push. Now Heroin goes into the B-Bomb site. And Oil is very wise to check every corner. He even slowed down to check the corner that Casey was sitting in. And Oil with a fourth of his round onto Junai finally goes down to Wookie's pistol. And is denied the ace. But Mystique takes out Wookie. And as I said, Heron make it 5-4 to four and take the lead on Dust 2. The third map here. Of the SLTV amateur series playoffs between the Germans and the Belarusian squad. Playing Ducks with the first AWP in the hands of Whoopi. And I, s I already said I will be curious to see his AWPing as he went huge on Inferno with one round with four frags of his AWP. But didn't really put it to that good use on Mirage. Let's see if he's feeling better on this too. And there he goes, the first frag onto Oil. Gets a favor into his team's side and now retreats into the B bomb side. The players are shuffling around a little bit to make it unpredictable where the AWP is looking at. And of course, to have some more spray power if the terrorists decide to go through with force but they actually decide to go through short in, into the A bomb site and Zona gets a frag on the Junai on the very far side of A long it's a 4v4 situation now Zona down to 35 HP Junai almost got his frag but Casey now puts down fast on short the CTs are about to storm the bomb site 
Two from below from CT spawn and two from short. And Draker gets flashed, turns around in the right moment and gets.